Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has made a brand new pair of beta channel insider builds available, build 22621 and 22631.2262, which were bumped up with the update KB5029339. Now in effect, um, build 22631 is our next feature update, version 23H2 which um, we are expecting to roll out at the end of next month, starting the end of September, moving into October and November. So a lot of these features we're looking at today, there's a strong possibility that they will be rolling out with the 23H2 feature update soon. Now, um, so what's new uh, in build 22631? Well, first of all, Microsoft has now made the new settings homepage available now to the beta channel insiders with build uh, 22631, where... Um, the new settings homepage, according to Microsoft, provides an overview of your device, quick access to key settings, and helps manage your Microsoft account. And they say they've created interactive cards that represent various device and account-related settings grouped by commonly accessed functions. So here's an overview of each card um, uh, if you are interested regarding the new homepage. First of all, we get the recommended settings card, which adapts to your specific usage patterns providing timely and relevant settings options according to Microsoft. Then next we get the cloud storage which gives you an overview of your cloud storage use. Uh, we've got account recovery which basically speaks for itself. Then to the left here we've got your personalization card where you can customize your background theme and change your color mode. And then we've got Microsoft 365 which provides, according to Microsoft, a quick glimpse of your subscription status and benefits, along with the ability to take some key actions right in settings instead of going to the web. And there's also a little bit of advertising going on on this new homepage, which I have uh, posted on previously. And then two cards that aren't um, shown in this uh, image are your Xbox card, where you can view your subscription status and manage the subscription from the settings app and Bluetooth devices where you can quickly access and connect to your Bluetooth enabled devices. So that's the new uh, settings homepage, which uh, is going to be rolling out and should be rolling out with version 23H2. Now, uh, moving on, the backup app now is being tested in the beta channel, and this has already rolled out to Windows 10 and is going to be on its way shortly as a standalone app to Windows 11. Although Windows 11 currently, even in the stable version, has... Uh, backup facilities. The standalone app, though, is not available, and that will be made available. Um, there's a good chance with version 23H2. So Microsoft say they've made backup and restore improvements to make moving to a new PC easier. So yeah, as you, as you will know, um, you, we've, you can backup your folders, your apps, your settings, your credentials, and so on. So the goal of this, Microsoft says, uh, is to land you on a desktop that feels familiar to you and get you back to productivity within minutes on your new PCs, which I actually think is a nice move because it just means setting up a new PC uh, for Windows 11 in the future could be a lot simpler and easier to do. And then there's also a OOBE improvement where you can try out the new restore during the out-of-box experience, OOBE, when setting up a new PC, which I think uh, is a nice move because it will just put everything back basically where you had it and just makes the whole setup process with a new PC a whole lot simpler, quicker, and a lot more efficient. Then moving on to the next regarding um, the backup and restore desktop apps that are available in the Microsoft Store can be restored by clicking on the app pin to get started. And Microsoft says for apps that aren't available, as we can see in the screenshot in the Microsoft Store, you'll be directed to the web to download the installer. And then the last a uh, key uh, kind of new feature and highlight and improvement for today's video is regarding cost. And this was previously uh, introduced in an earlier build in the beta channel, but they've made some improvements where they've updated the cost fly out in quick settings with additional support uh, in case you face any trouble discovering nearby displays, fixing connections and more. And that's with this little highlighted a link can't find a device, which I actually think is a nice move if you are prone to using cost a lot on Windows 11. And that's the key highlights. And obviously, over and above that, uh, we get fixes for both insider builds. And just to do a brief overview of this quickly, there's fixes for items like your taskbar and system tray that include adjustments to the Bluetooth a bell and other icons within the system tray. That's regarding notifications, as I have posted on previously. Fixes to the input platform in support of more dual language users. Um, they fixed crashing HDR wallpapers 
and explorer.exe level crashing and a whole lot more. And of course, there are one or two known issues, which we hope Microsoft does obviously fix before um, Build 22631 becomes our next feature update, version 23H2, rolling out next month. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.